flying out here and should be here in a few hours. I don't even remember him. Will I be better? Will I recognize him? What'll I do? And when the fever's down, I'm sure you'll be able to fill in all the blanks. I get some rest. Okay. You know, it is so scary. Having no past, no memories. Give them time. They'll come back. When the old memories come back, will I remember you? I hope so. No, I'm private, please. Come on, it's urgent. What's the problem? Ned Travers. Oh, yeah, you're cool with that guy. Please, just listen to me. I just got a call from Johns Hopkins. Stan, read my lips. Ned Travers will not take the staff job. Not today, not tomorrow. You could offer him your father's Swiss bank account. Johns Hopkins, Gates, has never heard of Ned Travers. What are you talking about? He took a surgical residency there. They have no record of him. Nothing. He never went to that school. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he lie? I don't know. A brilliant physician like that? Then another thing, they told me that there's an inquiry at St. Vincent's in New York about him. Okay, he said he went to Stanford Med School. I'll call Boston, you call Stanford. Boston? Why Boston? He said he took his pre-med there. He told me he took it at Northwestern. Something is wrong, Gates. Something is terribly wrong. Hold on. Wait a minute. Run that by me again. John, we called Johns Hopkins. We called Northwestern. We called Boston. We called Stanford. They have no record of him. The man is a phony. He's been practicing medicine without a license, and he's been doing it here. Well, he's going to be operating on Maggie in about an hour. You going to let him do it? You can't let him do it. He's a phony. You know, if we hadn't made those calls, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ned would be doing the surgery and everyone would be happy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now listen, Gates, we did make those calls. There is good reason to doubt the man's integrity. Would you want an unlicensed physician to operate here? Well, hell no, Stan, but he's better than most licensed physicians. If he is an unlicensed physician, he's breaking the law and he is jeopardizing this entire hospital. He's right. There, you see? I'll talk to him. Don't you think we should alert the police? Oh, hold on, Stan. That may not be necessary. I'm going to call him anyway, just in case. Hi, Trevor. What are you so happy about? Ned, I don't know any other way to say this. I have reason to believe that you're lying to us. About what? Johns Hopkins, Stanford, Boston, Northwestern. Let's just get right to the point, shall we? You have a medical degree? <laughs> you're kidding. Dead serious. Where do you think I got my training? Barber college? You haven't answered the question. I don't think it deserves an answer. Okay, fair enough. Wait a minute, where are you going? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call the police. Sorry, Ned. Well, it was fun while it lasted, huh? This is the last thing I wanted to hear. How long have you been playing this game? I was a medic and uh, got a lot of my training there. When I got back, I uh, discovered I had a talent for sneaking into lectures, walking around with residents, interns. Yeah, I did a lot of high powered studying too. Pretty soon, I was calling myself a doctor, hiding behind a corporate name. You never went to med school at all? Couldn't afford it. But there's a lot to be said for self-education. I mean, I got this far, right? What a waste. If you'd have done it legally, you could have been one of the best. Yeah, well, if I could afford it through tuition, huh? So, uh, what's Maggie going to think of all this, huh? I don't know. I guess, uh, she'll be kind of shook up. You guess? Half hour before surgery, she finds out her doctor's a fraud. Could put her right in a shock. Yeah, well, you know, you guys moved too fast. I was hoping to have this operation over with before the roof caved in. 
Maybe we shouldn't tell her. I think we have an obligation to tell her. Oh, come on, Trapp. I don't think I can handle this. I mean, there's no telling how she's going to react. She could refuse the surgery. Then she'll probably die. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't tell her. I don't understand you. As a phony doctor, you go out of your way to save a life. But as plain Ned Travers, you're perfectly willing to let her die. You realize you give me a perfect chance to escape. You won't use it. How do you know? You haven't seen Maggie yet. I uh, see the patient moment. Oh, that's just what I need. What me? The long face. Now, that's not nice before surgery. What's wrong? It's funny. There's a Jane Doe down the hall who's fighting to catch up with her past. In my case, the past is catching up with me. What do you mean? Oh, I wish there was a nice, easy way to say this. Oh, Ned, yeah, please come to the point. My sedative's taking over. Okay, here goes. I'm not a doctor, Maggie. I've been practicing medicine without a license. Oh, Ned, do you expect me to believe that? Well, you're going to have to believe it. It's true. Great little bulletin to deliver before surgery, I know. Oh, my God. Oh, Ned. Oh, Ned. How could you? You've been lying to all these people. You've been lying to me? Maggie, why do you think I tried so hard not to fall in love with you? I mean, wh why do you think that I... Oh, Maggie, you've got every right to hate my guts. They're gonna put you in jail, aren't they? Probably. Look, Maggie. Dr. Walters will be doing the operation. Trapper and Gonzo will assist. If you start arguing about that, I'll dump you right off this gurney. How long are you going to be in jail? I have no idea. Well, at least while you're locked up, you can't get away from me, can you? Maggie, I can't lose with you, can I? to prison with a chapel. Mm, and I hate you. But I love you. have a warrant for your arrest? It's funny, I've been expecting you. Uh, hold on there, gentlemen. Uh, officer, I want to find my... Speak with him for a minute. Travis? Listen, you're going to need the best possible representation in this matter. Now, I have talked to Dad, and he has agreed to let the family attorney handle the case. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate that. Well, Stan, mm -hmm. have fun with the boat. It's all starting to come back. I told you it would. <laughs> what is your birthday? January. <laughs> January something. January what? Uh, 14th. My birthday is January the 14th. <laughs> Good. Now, how did you get from Worcester to here? I flew here. I think. Didn't I? 